Hello, I'm Pastor Charles. I would like you to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for coming here today. This means a lot. I want to share with you one simple, powerful verse. Universe, our one verse of the day. Isaiah 26, verse 3. Thou wilt keep him, that's you and me, in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. In other words, we're thinking about God. We're focusing on him. We're wanting to find out, how can I do his will today? What would he want me to do? Will he be with me? That's something might be on your heart. Whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. In other words, I'm doing this not because I doubt God, but because I trust God. Now, if you've been a Christian any length of time, you can trust God. You say, well, I just don't know. Well, stop and think for a minute. If you've been a Christian any length of time, he's, you've got a history with him. You asked him to save you, he did. You prayed to him, he has been answering your prayers. Sometimes we just don't look and recognize him. Sometimes we pray for, you know, maybe what we pray for is, I don't know, maybe you're praying for uh, a car, okay? But what God provides you with is somebody who says, I'll come and get you, we can carpool together. Maybe you didn't have the funds at the time to really cover the insurance and the maintenance and the wear and tear. Now somebody, you've got somebody in your life that you're working together, you're going to the same place, you've got fellowship. If a car breaks down, you, two of you can work on it. There's greater strength in two than one. Or maybe you pray for the car and it's not the model you wanted. And you're surprised to find a, a month or two later, boy, I'm glad I've got this car. It's worked out so much better. You see, when we trust God, we can trust him to provide the things in our life that are the things that we need that oftentimes exceed what we ask for. I think sometimes we get the idea, if I ask God for something and I trust him to give the right thing, I'll be getting so much less than what I would have asked for. No, you'll be getting the thing that fits your life best. It may be grander than you would have hoped for or maybe you even had faith for. It's not just a wish list, it's a presence list. When your mind and heart is stayed on God, you will know his presence, you'll feel his presence, and best of all, you'll feel his comfort as you deal with what you face today. I don't know what you've got scheduled for today, but I know what God's got ready for you, and he's prepared to carry you through whether good or bad, he'll be with you. Trust in God. Thank you, and remember that through Christ, you can succeed. God bless you.